The U.S. CDC has new relaxed guidance about how to protect yourself from COVID-19. That changes quarantine and testing guidelines. The new recommendations put more focus on people making their own decisions about risk and how to protect themselves. But some of the recommendations stay the same. There's a lot to unpack, so let's take a closer look. Let's start with testing. If you have symptoms, test immediately. If you are exposed to COVID-19 and do not have symptoms, the CDC says you should wait at least five full days after you were exposed before testing. If you test too early, you may be more likely to get an inaccurate result. Next, quarantining. <coughs> the CDC no longer recommends quarantining if you're exposed to someone infected with COVID-19. That's regardless of your vaccination status. Why? The CDC says there's enough immunity nationwide from people being vaccinated or infected. Instead, you should wear a mask for 10 days around others when indoors in public. And again, get tested immediately if you develop symptoms, or at least five days after exposure if you don't. These recommendations now apply to everyone, whether you're vaccinated or not. That also changes the test to stay concept in schools. Test to stay is a way for kids who are exposed to COVID to keep coming to school in person so long as they keep testing negative and show no symptoms. Now, the CDC simply recommends masking. Next, isolation. If you test positive for COVID, the CDC recommends you stay home for at least five days and isolate from others in your home. You should wear a high quality mask through day 10. If you had shortness of breath or had difficulty breathing, the CDC says you should isolate for 10 full days. One recommendation that has not changed, get vaccinated to protect yourself from the worst outcomes of COVID, like hospitalization and death. We reached out to Maine's public health leaders to see if this new guidance affects the healthcare worker vaccination mandate. It does not. A spokesperson for Maine DHHS says the guidance also recognizes the continued importance of vaccination against COVID-19 as a protection from severe illness and death, especially in higher risk settings and sectors such as health care. The new guidance is consistent with Maine's vaccination requirement for workers in licensed health care settings, which remains in place, as does the federal requirement for vaccination of health care workers in certain facilities. More broadly, the new federal recommendations provide pragmatic steps the general public can take to protect their health that Maine has long supported.